after you went all that way, Gus, I really thought that the Pope would speak to you more. It's very exceptional, Fear. You should know that. That the Pope spoke to Gus personally at all, that's, well, it's unheard of for a man of his age and, and fame. You understand these things better than me, Coddle, but still, still, yes, 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 Fear, I know. You think of me as a great king, but the rest of the world sees me as an elected upstart. That was what this whole trip was about. The fact that His Holiness even sat for a moment to speak to me at a public gathering, it is very hopeful news. It is hopeful news, Fear. I, I suspect very soon we will receive a letter with some funds suggesting that our dear brother goes down to Canterbury and begins the legal proceedings. I hope so. Hello and welcome back, connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends and newcomers alike. We are here once again with King Fear... No, Fur Gus. We're here with Fergus. That's right. Fergus gets to keep his name. Fergus is Fergus and Fear is going to stay Fear, just so that we can tell them apart a little easier. Uh, it's such an unexpected thing to be playing this character. I have no idea. We are going to the Pope to tell him of our plan. Our plan is basically to remove from Alba the Tennis re-election and make it dynastic. We've entered into Regency. Fear is handling it for us. We will eat well tonight. No, I think not today. We don't need the fish. Let's speed up a little bit. Because these are long. Oh, we got our first learning pick. Our f was killed in a siege. Who is sieging? Ugh, not great. We need to get out of this uh, war footing so that our um, brother can continue with the cleanup down here. I just want to finish this learn language and hopefully we can get him to join us and then start changing his mind. Travel derelict shirt ship. Of course we are going to investigate because we are brave. Can our wife help us with this? Uh, yeah, she can. Doesn't seem to make much difference. That's fine. Sometimes it doesn't. Ooh, a survivor. A survivor. Much to my surprise, I begin to hear a voice hailing our ship as we approach the wreckage. The man appears to be a wealthy noble floating around on the remains of a door. Hail, I thought I was never going to see another soul again before the sea would claim me, as it did my companions. He introduces himself as... Mokana, and claims to be a noble from the Mormerdom of Merns. Hmm, that's us. <laughs> that is our home. Well, what an interesting young man. He is... Yeah, he's malnourished. What do you think? He's been dying on a boat. We can. He, I think he's going to join us in our travels, right? Yeah. I mean, eventually, ultimately, you're going to come home, right? And our home is your home. It wasn't until recently, but still. I feel accomplished, so we've learned his language. That's good. Now, does that convince him to join us? Yes. Still far off of normal. I'm going to take him low because I really need him. I don't want conflict with him, and if I don't integrate him peacefully now, I may lose the chance. Uh, we have tons to give him to turn his opinion around. Zealotry Sea Legs. Walking around the ship on our journey to Vaticano, I spot a fellow pilgrim who does not seem to be doing very well. Clearly his sea legs were never instilled. He whimpers softly, squatted by the railing, and holds onto it for dear life with a face that shifts in pale nuances. Let's pray for his recovery. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We will pray for his recovery. That's good for us in multiple levels. All right. So we're going to right now. We can't. Now that he's our vassal, right? We can grant him all the territory that's inside our kingdom that belongs to his title, including this. That has basically completely changed his mind about us, which 
I think is good. He's probably going to end up being a powerful vassal. Let's see. This guy... We, and we already have a non-powerful vassal in place. So we're probably going to lose her. How good is this guy at her job? Equally good. She's our friend. Right? But she has reasons to not like us. But she is our friend. Wait. No, it just made us closer to being friends. We didn't actually become friends. So that's sort of important. Yeah. What do we want to do? I think she's going to be pushed out by him rather quickly. That I can just see by looking at it that she's only barely superior to him now. So let's just wait a bit and see how this turns out. Oh, there it is. Old man Osric finally died. Goodbye, Osric. I wish you well in the next life, old man. I'm sorry that we could never be friends. Hey, fear, your job has become available to you. Would you like to do it? Yes, you would, wouldn't you? All right. The problem is this is going to make her not like us. Does she have anything else she can do? No. Literally nothing. No. Well, that's not great. I'm still going to do it, I think. I mean, either of these, right? Does she matter more to me than him? I mean, they're basically equal. They're basically vassals in the domains that I actually hold. She's from Fife. Right? They're all part of the capital du duchy. <sighs> they're both going to be around for a while. He's the stronger of the two. I'm going to put... I'm going to put Domnall over this guy and not really worry about him. I suppose I could sway him. You know, get him, get him to agree. <sighs> this guy doesn't like us as much as he used to. What is wrong with you? Short reign. Oh yeah, you don't like the fact that I took away your position as doctor. I mean, this should tend up. This should tend upwards, so we'll be fine with that, I think. She's giving us five, so she's still got almost two more points to give. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave things as they are. Poor old Osric. You were with our father for a long time. I remember the story of how you faked a, uh, a duel with him in order to win my mother's affections. What a wonderful story. Okay, pay ransom. You want to pay ransom. We'll do that. Do we have anyone else in our prison? Prisoners, prisoners, prisoners. This person here. You can do it for three gold. We'll take the three gold. What about you? Are you any good? I don't think you would qualify as a warrior in my army. Let's see, just to check. My weakest non-forced person is in fact a 14, so you're actually not good enough. Will you... Will you... Convert? Then you can go. And that leaves us with one more person in the prison. This guy... Will you convert? You will. You can go. Finally, unfamiliar pilgrims. We have encountered many Catholic pilgrims on our route thus far, and all have been pious and devoted to God's will. However, we soon come across into the company of a group of strange travelers from distant lands. They introduce themselves as Kirstjani, and tell us that their route is sacred to their people as well. Okay, so this is a Christian faith that I have absolutely no experience with whatsoever. Only Catholics may take this journey. We could try to do the conversion... Let's see if our wife can help us. She's actually pretty good at patronage. She's not spectacular, but she's okay. She doesn't really help. She gave us 1%. That's fine. I mean, we're going to do this, right? Okay, they converted. Great. And we made a new friend. Acceptance between the French and Gales has increased by 1%. Good. Okay, we have 
visited Akan. Franconians increased by 1%. Nice. The end is nigh. As part... As my party passes through a small town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. At the center, a man stands on an overturned fish cart, shouting wildly at all who will listen. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried-looking town folks nervously whisper to each other, fearful of the Doomslayer's words. You cast him down, which is good. We can basically tell him that only God knows when the end will come. I think these are both equal as choices. It will show our learning. We are a very learned man, after all. Okay. So we've finished that control task. So we will go up here. Try to fix this. And I think we're at the point now where we can drop our flag. Where is it? Drop our flag. I got lost sometimes. Here, and we're going to declare war. Oh, we can't declare war because we're away. We needed to do it before we left. I always find that mechanic weird. I can continue a war if I leave after, but if I declare the war while I'm away, not, not on that. None on that. That's fine. Interesting. Zealotry crisis of faith. As I continue on my holy journey, I encounter a man by the roadside caked in filth and wet with tears. Are you happy now? You've taken everything from me. How am I to go on in a world ruled by a creature as cruel as Rod? Clearly, he is desperate and having a crisis of faith. The answer is in Jesus. We are on a holy journey. Join us. Use our Fortuna's tears. Okay. The 61% is... Mm, let's see what effect on these having our wife help out. We'll have... This becomes 64, and that says 61. We'll do this. The answer, there is an answer in Jesus. Uh, conversion failed. Fine. It's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We should do some some marriages, some RP marriages soon. Danger on a mountain trail. One foot after another, I slowly move forward. Who is this? This is Hema. She's a Bavarian. She has a child. Oh. I feel bad for her child. But, uh... Oh, it's not her. It's him. Him. This guy. My freaking caravan master! It's always my caravan master who falls off cliffs. Ah, uh, can't we can't save him. We can't kill many people for for this. Damn it! That's gonna make our journey so much harder. This guy's good. Okay, so these guys are with us. He's my court physician and champion. And he's my champion. I'm going to put the champion in place, even though he's older. Ah, oh, no. The court physician should do it. He's a better choice. And it gives us the advantage of having our court physician every single time we go on a journey. Um, the one problem with that, though, is that he... Uh, he's much more liable to random deaths this way. Uh, let's try. Uh, we've successfully interpreted the instructions. Danger sticks in the wheel. By blood, we're going to be late. Wait, late for what, sir? <laughs> late for the the pilgrimage that happens exactly whenever you show up? That's that's not how late works. A lowly delicacy? Are we a stew man? No, we think our blood is very, very legendary. We're we're not lowering ourselves to the level of of peasant food. Not a chance. Not a chance. 
cultural acceptance with the Cisalpines. Are you kidding? Another courtier has died in a mountain? At least this guy actually. This is the guy we literally saved from the boat. He's still malnourished. No wonder he fell off the mountain. God deliver us from this pale. Oh, can't believe we... we oh, it's such a small party to lose two people in it. Uh, 200 diplomacy experience. Gain steward experience. More Italian cultural acceptance. Lombard cultural acceptance. We have reached... Rome, I have walked the holy path. Here we go. Grand Cathedral. Now you can go, child. I hear Bishop Augustine mutter as I enter the church. The pilgrim bows before leaving. I can see the priest's hand glistening with gold. I could get one for Fergus. I mean, this is the second time somebody has done this gesture for him. It's like one gold because it's ju because I'm just... Yeah. It's 25 gold, which I do have. I am going to get a... I'm going to intercede with God for Fergus, as my father did. Praying once again that his destiny turns. Ooh, architectural expertise. Nice. Her administrative abilities have increased. Plus one stewardship. Very nice. A pilgrim puts down a votive doll before the altar, bowing her head. I see Bishop Augustine... Blessing her and muttering something in her ear. Holy, I managed to hear. The bishop makes a gesture. Also, do you also bring something to have blessed, dear king? Spear of destiny. So, 2% piety per month. I would probably do this. Yes, this is what I would do. So we'll do that. We're doing okay. We're at 50%, which is not as good as we'd hoped, but still pretty good. Delightful. I shall also make a donation. Hmm. Don't we have churches at home? So who is this? This is my champion. We're going to lose him as a warrior either way because he's becoming a monk. We have moderately good replacements for him. I'll make a donation as well. Oh, we almost made it to three. All right. Roma, it has been an honor. We get determined pilgrim. We gain a thousand prestige. The bishop is now our friend. Great. Finish the pilgrimage. Where does that put us? Way up there towards succeeding at this. Good, good, good. Hopefully we get some more holy events on the way back that will just push this through. Dangerous sticks in the wheel. We're going to be late. To nothing, sir. <laughs> it's, it's the second time you've complained about being late to nothing. Somebody finished a task. Who would it be? It was Fear. Fear has cleaned up this. Oh, you can't get rid of that. Well, I'd hoped, but I suppose it is as it is. We need to make sure that we are... Helping to make the whole region better. I'll let him do his own territory next. Good. We're making good money. How does the Pope feel about us right now? I'd just like to know. 18, eh? How much would... How much would it be to seek an indulgence. 132. We could also learn his language. Do I have a gift appropriate for... No, I don't. Well, let's head home. Maybe we'll make some money on the way home so that we can seek an indulgence. I'd like to get the Pope above 20 before I uh, do this. You know? We gain some martial lifestyle experience, which is good. We're going to take serve the crown because this control will help. It only really works in our own domain, but that's fine. Defender of the faith. We also gained a learning lifestyle perk. There was a commotion among the children today. 
Mirren was attempting to preach amongst her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Gormla was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on the behalf of Jesus and chased away the other children. <laughs> you will serve the divine well, my child. Yes, you will. Oh, you will. We're going to take scientific first. We're going to take pedagogy first because we're already taking care of one of our children. Plus, we like to learn languages. We'll take scientific next. What is this? Ooh, armor. We have an acclaimed knight who can do that for us. And he'll be around for a while, so that might just be a good thing. Oh, we got some Catalans acceptance. Are we going to become a gardener? Oxytonics accept some experience. Experience, we got down to earth. Oh, we're getting so much cultural experience by doing this journey. It's, it's actually quite amazing. This is chivalry. Hmm. I would love to add chivalry to us. So I'm going to actually take that just in case it comes up later. And we do expect to eventually end up in stewardship. I'm going to take cutting cornerstones because it leads us to the centralization that we will eventually want because we are a developer of realms. The trodden path. I, I'll. It's fine. It's fine. We can give it a little prestige up for that. It'll be okay. Visited the capital of the Sultanate of Navarra. Cultural acceptance for the Basques. The Castellans. Astoyans. Uh, I'm not having an affair. Is there anything that indicates to me that I might... No, I have the respect of my wife, if not her love, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass, thanks. Local hero. So our sister is a local saint, so I think we're gonna take this differently from the way our father did. I'm gonna be accepting of this idea. Our stress zeroes out because of our traits. Question is, did that actually help us with the Pope? Did. Apparently the Pope has a kid. I didn't think Popes were supposed to have kids, but, um... Alright. That's cool. And we're finally heading home. Look at that. We learned so much on this trip. We got so much done. We're not going to ask for any of this stuff. Two alliances. Yes, Count Renard. Count Jocelyn. We will also do the boy there in France. Marvelous news. Oh, there's an another person we could potentially ask. I'm not going to take gold from him because I need his favor to stay up. And uh, taking gold lowers the favor of the Pope. It also makes our some of our vassals dislike us. Now, we should be able to negotiate an alliance with him as well, which we will. Because that should just solidify our relationship 100% as strong. Good, that's because he used to be married to our sister. And we're almost home, at which point we will declare this war. The hardest war is going to be against Ireland. Not because they're particularly strong, they ain't. But because we don't like it. <laughs> oh, can no longer increase county control up there, which either means it's being attacked... It's being attacked. Of course it's being attacked. Who is attacking you and why? What is happening here? Who are you at war with? So, are you serious, man? Are you serious? Are you kidding? So you sent your guys all the way up here? That's, that's pretty wild, man. All right, well, hopefully somebody does something about that. We're going to have to put him down here someplace. There are definitely spots down here that need it. Um, it can help an Aaron, since it we something we just conquered. Uh, poetry people. I would like to make the attempt. I'm just going to become a poet. That's just a thing I'm doing. I'm a poet now. Of course I'm a poet. I should have been a poet the entire time. We visited the kingdom of... Capital of the Kingdom of Ireland. So this woman is single. So are you. We have enough room in our court for both of you. 
A duel demanded. So this guy, a Staru, not very good. I think I would do this. Not because I want him as a bodyguard, or as a warrior. But because I want him in my court so I can teach him the way of God, right? So we'll try. So we win the fight. And then we will demand his conversion. It's only 50%. That's fine. It'll probably get better soon. I could send him a poem. The work detailing their incompetence. Ah, no. <laughs> no. Um... We'll leave it be for now. It'll probably get better in time. I don't want to rush the conversion request. Get him some shoes. Please. The man needs shoes. What? The duck? That's a good omen. Follow that duck. I think we're going to just take it as a good omen. You know? Ducks are cute. I love ducks. Just the little white and black ones. Very cute. Nothing wrong with a duck. And we did it. We are now an experienced traveler. Whoa. <laughs> Look how far up our traveler trait went in this one thing. And all the seasoned we got too from not making it safe. There are lots of advantages to not making travel safe. Has to be said. Uh, learning to diplomacy. We, that's a great trip. Our next trip will be much shorter, of course. Once we save up for it, we will be going to university. Kent has apparently been taken by... Where is this even? Okay, was that like, did you... I don't understand what happened here. Disputed heritage. I don't know what happened here. England. You're falling apart. <laughs> You need to get your stuff together, okay? If you need help, we'll help you. I mean, that's what allies are for, right? What is this? This is hold court. Let's hold court for the first time. We have yet to hold court even once, so let's do it. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. Gesture for the first in line to approach. Two of my vassals are pushing one another, jostling to reach my throne first. Ben Mormer. Lesophona bows before me. Uh, my lord, murder is wanton in the streets throughout the kingdom of Alba. It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within the city limits. High chieftain Fear kicks her out of the way. Safety is each man learning to protect himself. Banning carry of weapons will castrate the townspeople. I... I'm just... This would be hilarious. There's literally 0% chance he would win, but there's less penalties for me to it this way. It makes them rivals. So I want to give my brother a rival with some... With, with her. If I do this... They become rivals no matter what happens. I mean, you really step forward and call my brother out? In my court? Uh, I think... I think we're gonna f I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't tell my brother to beat up a woman. I would, in fact... Do I actually think this is better? Oh, that could be very useful. It's only my held counties, though is the thing, and my counties are already at, at their place. What is open weapon carry permitted? More danger, but popular opinion? We're gonna do that. We're doing that. Duke Crinane, my vassal, strides forward, clearly eager to hear my response to his petition. My liege, it's calling for a house as great as Crinane to have the threat of revocation hanging over us like mere barons or tenants. Let us ensure the stability of the kingdom is not threatened by trivial disagreements. Huh. Alright, so you are Moray, which we knew was going to happen because we made it happen. Your mother yet lives. 
So you're like small moray still instead of what you will be one day, big moray. This increases feudal taxes. Now, this is interesting. It's a coin flip, but if I get Galloway, I can correct the problems. So I'm going to try. Oh, well, you know, man, uh, I feel I was being reasonable. I had a reason to want Galloway to give it to, give it to its proper duke, but uh, I understand you refusing. I'm not mad. Hopefully you're not. I recognize the next set of petitions immediately. They are Andre and Afrak, a pair that are well known for their intense rivalry. Worryingly, they are not arguing with each other. My lord, begins Andre. I tell you that the people are intensely dis- What are you talking about? No, they are not. I feel like chopping off the heads of the men who speak ill of my queen. I could try to get them to drop it, which would probably be for the best. Perhaps you'd back those words up with steel? <laughs> I'm sure if you looked at this another way. Successful negotiation. Great. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are we going to take here? There are so many good things at the beginning of diplomacy. Groom to rule is just like free attributes for your children. Good, but not essential. Befriend, though, is just a very powerful scheme to have. Benevolent intent makes your sways more likely to succeed. I think we take befriend, though, because befriend is a great way of locking relationships in once they're good. Especially if people have similar traits to you. You could also befriend your council members to make your council stronger. Yeah. Befriend is a great trait to take. Of course, one of my friends just died. <laughs> Which is not great. Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? The White Plague. It's minor. Okay. Well, I think it's time to quickly perpetrate this war right here. Holy War for County. Check. Let's raise all here. I don't think we need assistance against a small child. In this way, we'll be able to help our friend. Uh, he's not our friend. Our father's friend, really. Ally enemy joins the war. Enemy ally, I should say. Is this you? That's you. I'm gonna just uh, drop some besiegers here. I'm just, just gonna wander over here to kill. Who is this guy? Ah. Fear is occupied. What is he doing? Oh no, he's just... No, he's occupied. I think he's still in that war that was happening up north. Silly waste of time war. Shadows of Faith Dawn. Years have passed since my great father, King Findbar, succumbed to fatal apoplexy. I hope he is serving God in heaven now, yet the spirit of his faith is still present among the living, both as an inspiration and a challenge. I am still regarded as his son by the pious Catholics. Just yesterday, an old priest was praising him as the current ruler. I wonder if God feels the same about me. I feel the burning need to prove myself as a man of faith of my own, to step out of my father's shadow. God will see me as my own self. That 25% piety gain is basically going to assure that this happens. Like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you regret your decisions? Is that what's happening? I feel like you regret your decisions. Do you regret your decisions? Yeah, you do. Oh, uh, look who we're fighting. I don't even know who you are. Are you even part of it? Oh, yeah, apparently you're enemy forces. We captured some enemy forces. It's like a 50% right there. 
Um, no capture there. We're not bringing anybody in. We don't need to. This is supposed to be a super fast war. And that's the plan. We're going to wait till you're committed, and then we're going to trap you. There we go. Another enemy is captured. We can ransom you. 15 gold is enough. Wait, I didn't check. Frick! Shouldn't have ransomed him. That's fine. Who is this? The Gallant Champion, my Master of the Hunt, Togro, has excelled during recent battles and my court is buzzing with excitement. What an accomplished champion, what a role model, what a man. With all the praise raining down on him, it is made clear that I am expected to officially reward him. Shetland. For once, they've given me a choice in here that I could actually see myself saying yes to. Shetland. But I want to keep him in the position he's in, so I'm going to make him my bodyguard. Because I think that's more correct. I should get him married, though, so we can have some kids. Did I do that already? I remember discussing it, but I don't ever remember doing it. Yeah, we could just summon the Templar. We got the piety for it. They can back up these guys. Let me see, mercenaries. So I want to look at my knights. I want to look at you. I want to find you a spouse. Let's go... Inheritable traits. She's 39. She's 35. Thirty-five feels young enough. There. A wife for you. Maybe you can have some kids. Maybe we'll find something for you later. You know? That could be good. We could find something for you later. Anything in here that is like... Nope. So we'll deal with that after. We're deliberately not asking our Head of Faith for gold yet. We will, eventually. We just want to hold him above a certain amount for a little while, right? Because the idea here is we want to keep him in our good graces so he agrees with the thing that we're doing. But we will take the money for him, from him. Excellent in order to fund our inevitable journey to Kent for our university visit. Reflecting on God, I am sitting and meditating on the finer points of Catholicism. I cannot help but think back to when I journeyed to Canterbury on a pious pilgrimage. Yes, yes. Nice. How close are we now? We gotta be getting super close. Like super, super close. Okay, let's merge these two and let's put someone in charge here. Oh, fear is available. And he can run this siege there. We're also going to go through our... Um, hmm. So this battle is more important to me than the siege because this siege will probably win everything. So we'll do this. Oh, what a miss. <laughs> what a close miss. Fascination discovered. That so we have learned Banas, which is what we were going for. Right? Yeah, so we wanted to get Banas done quick. So we could see where the sort puts us. It puts us on city planning. I think that's really good for us. Yeah, so it's 21 years. That's still a long time, but, you know. There's work to be done. This is hit development 6. We got a new learning lifestyle perk that gives us whole body. We are now finished whole body. We can hit scientific next, which is good. We are a pretty learned man, realistically. I love the fact we became a poet. That just makes me so happy, especially since we're already so famous. That really helps with our diplomacy. Just such a good trait, right? We're a mastered pilgrim as well. 
Um, we've, we've went fast, you know, we went really fast. We're going to master experienced traveler pretty soon too. Let's hit this up. You know, destroy this army. I don't think we can get any more victory points for battles. Okay, so I am going to split off besiegers. And I'm going to try to get him right here. Again. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I got this feeling in my heart that the uh, Templars really want to face the Yalms Vikings in, uh, in battle. You know? Just to prove who's the superior holy of holies. Our true god. Against their fake ones. into here. We should be able to collapse both of these armies very easily. Whoops. What happened there? You caught him. I did not expect you to catch him. 50 gold is very useful. What's up here? What did you do? What did you do, princess? What did you do? Your fornicator? Yeah, I'll, I'll pardon that. I'll write you a pardon in secret, though. You know, people can't come to, uh, to believe that that's a, a normal thing that we would do. This is valuable, but I don't really want it. There's an active election in the Kingdom of Alba. We're still voting for our brother. It all still seems good. How's he feel about us now? Oh, it's down. Hmm. Well, I could easily fix that a bit more, you know? So we finished. This is fine. We will enforce our demands. So be it. So close. We're like tick over close. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Just like a couple of months. Okay, we went a little over, but we're going to finish this. I am going to let her keep this. I am going to disband my military. I am going to create the duchy title here, which is what I was saving that gold for. I am going to go to my friend here, and I'm going to... He's not really my friend, but you know what I mean? I'm going to grant him this. And then I'm going to make him the Duke. I should say the High Chief, because we don't really have Dukes yet. Is interesting. Oh yeah, my brother handed uh, Lin Linlithgow out. Linlithgow out. That's okay. This is all okay. So we're not really going to do the Ireland yet. We are going to let our glorious faith turn over. It should just be a couple of months. So during that time, we're going to look at other things we might do. Oh, we can create a new accolade, eh? A second accolade. What kind of accolade do we want? Well, we have Torgal here. He can be a Huntmaster. And I do like Huntmaster accolades because they give your children the, the uh, trait. Is there something else that we could make... Fear, though, right? No, it can't be fear, because he's landed. How about you? Oh, nothing that interests me. What about... Corpre? Tactician, contender, marauder, not really. What about you? Kugamna? Tactician, Valiant, Thug. I think we're going with the Huntmaster. I think there's nothing better than the Huntmaster. So we're going to give the old man, with his new wife, the 50-year-old man, a new accolade. We're going to not make the second one Marauder. We're going to make it something better, like Valiant. Create this accolade for him, and we need a successor. Pfft. 
Talaric. Do we know who Talaric is, Fortiers? Well, let's look at what we need. We should probably put this back down to three, where it's supposed to be, and let the time run. So you need the Trait Hunter. So anyone with the Trait Hunter, eh? Set this all aside. I'm going to... Character. Stop. Female. This courtier here. Find her a spouse. We want... None. A lot of not important. We're looking for... Hunter. We are looking for the best... Prowess. Franconians. They're ugly. This is a dwarf. This Czech guy. This is a Galatian. How good is he? He's 23. I want a younger man, to be realistic. Like, this 36-year-old Czech, maybe, is almost young enough. How good is Oliver here, this Dutch guy? He's wounded, but he's probably going to turn out okay. Got 20, that's really good. I am going to do this. Matrilineal marriage. Send a proposal. There you go, and we gained it. We hit it. We are now a religious icon. Plus 30 clergy opinion. I think with that, we're going to ask the Pope for money, and then we're going to use that money to fund our trip. Let's just tick this through so that we can... Uh, excellent. So now we can put him in, which is great. So we got a good second man for that position. The last war we need to unify Ireland, uh, Alba, is against Ireland. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me the next time we are here with, with King Fergus of Alba, the Unexpected King. Goodbye for now.